Over the past several decades, robots have become increasingly common on the battlefield. Today, the U.S. military, government, and law enforcement agencies deploy thousands of them in the skies and on the ground. This is five things you don't know about robotics. A rugged, man-portable robot, the Talon, is designed to perform a wide variety of tasks, including reconnaissance, search and rescue, bomb or IED disposal, and hazmat operations. In addition to these non-lethal roles, modified Talons, known as swords, have also been altered to carry an assortment of weapons, such as M16s, M249s, and M80s. In 2007, Three swords, each armed with an M249 machine gun, were deployed to Iraq. Although they never fired a shot in combat, they did become the first ground robots to carry weapons into battle. According to recent estimates, the United States military has approximately 7,000 aerial drones in its inventory. These drones are a mixture of UAVs, which perform critical surveillance and reconnaissance missions, and UCAVs, which perform targeted airstrikes. As of now, the United States, the United Kingdom, and Israel are the only nations in the world to have used armed drones in combat. Going. However, this is potentially poised to change in the near future, as countries such as China, Russia, and Iran all now reportedly possess their own combat drones. Originally created by the iRobot Corporation, the PackBot is a tactical mobile robot designed to investigate potentially hazardous objects. First introduced in 2002, more than 3,000 PackBots have been delivered to military and law enforcement agencies. But while the PackBot has proven to be highly effective on the battlefield, it's interesting to note that it's not iRobot's most popular robot. That distinction goes to one of their commercial products, namely, the Roomba Robotic Vacuum Cleaner. To date, iRobot has sold more than 10 million of their home cleaning robots worldwide. Known as the GuardBot, one of the newest robots currently in testing with the U.S. Marine Corps may look a lot like an innocent child's toy. However, it's actually a high-tech scouting machine. Originally conceived of for a planetary mission to Mars, the GuardBot is capable of operating in the most extreme conditions, including snow, sand, and underwater. This allows the spherical robot to go pretty much anywhere the Marines do. In addition to scouting out the area and capturing its surroundings on video camera, the GuardBot is also equipped with a laser spectroscope, which allows it to detect chemicals used in making explosives. Since the age of robotics began, their role has expanded exponentially. And according to military officials and robotics engineers, 
the use of robots on the battlefield is only going to continue to grow. In fact, several officials recently predicted that army robots could outnumber human soldiers 10 to 1 within the next decade. But before you go conjuring up images of an apocalyptic Terminator-like world, it's important to point out that the majority of these robots will not be armed. Instead, they'll mostly be used to survey for threats and carry equipment and supplies to lighten the soldier's load. Today, bomb and IED disposal robots are commonly used by military and law enforcement organizations. But while these life-saving machines may seem like a relatively new invention, they've actually been around in service for more than 40 years. Do you know when and where the first bomb disposal robot was developed? If so, post your answer below or reach out to us through Twitter using hashtag 5 things you don't know.